Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a Bath & Body Works single wick candle haul. They had a sale online where they were $5.95, I believe. You couldn't use any other coupons, which was a real bummer. But you could have shopped in store, which made them super cheap, but I just, I get... I've become so lazy. It's so bad. It's really, it's not good. But like, especially with the holidays, everything just gets so crowded. And I don't know. I really like just sitting at home, scrolling, adding to cart. And then a couple of days later, it comes at your door. I'm very into that. So yeah, I bought these on Saturday and they got here so quickly. They came, they were here by Tuesday, like Tuesday morning. I said, dang girl, you are shipping real quick. Okay, so yeah, these were $5.95 and that's that. So I have literally a whole box here. I went a little crazy, a little crazy. And then once the wallflower sale comes, I will buy matching wallflowers for all of these and then use them in the bathroom. So that's great. We've got Maddie here today. Hey, Mad. She's very angry at me because I had to cut her nails and she does not like that. In her olden age, she doesn't like it. So she's very mad at me right now very mad okay we have let love rule which is raspberry tangerine i love these okay it shows your fingerprints which not great but i love these colored glasses this is also a sticker so you can peel this off and reuse this love that these are really really gorgeous so yeah raspberry tangerine oh, I forgot that they took the scent notes off of these dang it but yeah raspberry tangerine um this one is raspberry tangerine <laughs> it's very nice definitely a sweet fruity scent I will be using that closer to like spring and summer but yeah I love these jars love it love them then we have tis the season oh tis the season I adore tis the season and this packaging I thought was so cute with the gold sleigh and I love the red wax just absolutely gorgeous and I, I, I'm obsessed with Tis the Season. It is just the perfect blend of apples and cinnamon and like holiday cheer. <laughs> it's so good. It's not spicy at all. It is just, it smells like the perfect Christmas candle. It is, it's incredible. I do, I have grown to really, really love Tis the Season. It wasn't my favorite for years, but the older I get, the more I appreciate this more homey type of scent. And for not being a cinnamon lover, I, I really enjoy it because like I said, it's not spicy at all. It's just, it smells like, it smells like freaking Christmas without being a Christmas tree. And it's so good. So good. Ooh, vanilla balsam. This one's a new one to me. This one I thought was really boring. I thought they could have done way cuter Christmas packaging. I mean, some of the packaging on their candles was like, oh, gorgeous. So this is like real boring to me, but whatever. I mean, that's good for people who want to use this all year round. This one just has white wax. I really, really like this. I have never put, picked up a vanilla balsam before, not in a three wick, not in a single wick. And I don't know why this year I was just like, you know, let's try it because typically they're fresh balsam. I burn their three wicks every year, but last year the eucalyptus and the lavender note in it was just too much for me. I did not like it. It was just too much. So I wanted to try the vanilla balsam. And I love this. I love this way more, way, way more. The vanilla tones down that balsam note to make this absolutely beautiful while still also being Christmas tree. It's very toned down, super subdued, very, very creamy from that vanilla. This, I get now why people love vanilla balsam. Because I would buy that in a three wick. I would burn that everywhere. I think this is so good especially if you're not a pine lover like myself. That one's really nice. Okay, Frozen Lake with this really, really cute navy wax with like this peekaboo cutout packaging to make it look like they are skating on this lake. So cute. The attention to detail on this one was really, really great. You have like a reindeer eating a tree or a deer. I think it's just a deer. A deer eating a tree. And then like this one has antlers. Just really cute. And Frozen Lake is a really nice winter scent for my liking. It's got eucalyptus and lavender in it, I believe, just like, ironically, fresh balsam. Or maybe, 
Maybe for, no, Fresh Blossom doesn't have lavender. It has eucalyptus in it. I think this one has eucalyptus and lavender. Anyway, this one's kind of smells like a a man's cologne, but in the winter, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe it, but I really, really like Frozen Lake. I think this is such a nice winter scent, like I said. It does smell like a man's cologne to me, but again, like I said, in the winter, it's got almost like a cooling note to it, like that kind of zips up your sinuses. I actually like that though, so not complaining. Then we have Laundry Day. I love this. Love this gingham packaging in the gray. I knew I had to get this because I just, I have a three wick and I haven't burned it yet, but I love it so much on cold. I knew that I had to get this to get some matching wallflowers. Just a fabulous laundry scent. So strong. So like, it smells like wet towels that are soaked in like fabric softener. I don't know. It smells so good. Not gross towels. Not like wet towels that you left in the washer too long. Like freshly wet towels that are like smothered in fabric softener. It's a, it's a great scent. We have Merry and Bright, which is crushed candy cane. This one's cute with the little Santas and the candy canes. This one's nice. Honestly, I probably won't burden this one in December. So I'll probably just like turn it around. <laughs> but it's nice red wax, which is great. And this is good. This smells like crushed candy canes. I like this one way more than I than Twisted Peppermint. Twisted Peppermint and me, we don't vibe. I don't know. I've never liked it. I tried it last year for the first time in a single wick and a wallflower. Didn't like it. I don't know. It's got a sharpness to my nose that really, really just bothers me. I don't know what it is and I can't explain it. I just know that I don't like it. <laughs> but crushed candy cane. Ooh, this is so good. This is not too, too pepperminty. pepperminty. It does have like a vanilla base to it. Ooh, that's good. That's real good. Ooh, that's so good. These are getting me excited for Christmas. I will not be pulling these out until December. Maybe like the day after Thanksgiving, actually. Maybe. Maybe. But no sooner than that. <laughs> then we have Brighter Day, which is orange zest and sea spray. This is the other one that I got in that super pretty frosted packaging. Again, this is a sticker, so you can peel this off and reuse it. And orange zest and sea spray. I feel like I've tried this. This smells very, very similar. Have I tried an orange zest and sea spray? I don't know. I know I've tried their fresh orange, and this does not quite smell like that. This smells different. I don't know. This is... I'm like really trying to rack my brain to see if I have ever burned this, but I don't think I have. But it smells like something. This might be two candles kind of blended together to create this. Maybe I have, I don't know, but I like it. It smells really good. It is not too citrusy. It's got like something else to it. I don't know, but that smells really good. I love orange, you guys know me, citrus and me. We love each other, so this one smells amazing. Not just straight orange. I think the sea spray note in it gives it a little bit of oomph. So this is really, really good. I think that one will be perfect for spring or summer. We have peppermint sugar cookie. This one with the holographic. Oh, I love. I love anything that sparkles. And that sparkles. And it's this gorgeous mint green. I burned these three wicks last year. I really liked it. I felt that they could have been stronger. But I really ultimately liked the scent. And it smells just like I remember. It smells pretty similar. I feel like last year had more mint though. This has mint, but it really smells like sugar cookie with just like a sprinkling of mint. Still smells super, super great. Really nice peppermint cookie scent. So I enjoy that one. I will for sure be burning that up. And then, oh, I did get two of those. So I got two of the peppermint sugar cookie because I will burn this again. I know it has a Christmas packaging, but I will just do a little of that and I will burn this in the winter time because, oh, that wick's perfect. I will burn it in the winter time and enjoy it. I think I also got, yeah, I did pick up a second laundry day as well. Then we have lavender vanilla. I got a few, not too many. I got a few non-Christmas scents so that I could always because I typically do these sales like once maybe twice a year and I stock up on all of the scents that I want to use for the rest of the year 
and like occasionally I'll buy like in the spring or maybe at the summer SAS, but usually right around Christmas is when I go crazy and I buy like a ton of either wallflowers or single wicks, three wicks on candle day sort of thing. So I got a couple of non, you know, Christmassy scents. So this is lavender vanilla. I've burned this before. This is a beautiful scent for not being a lavender lover. I don't know, it just works. It smells like marshmallows and lavender and vanilla goodness. It's not super herbally. It's just really, really a very pretty lavender and vanilla scent. So that one is a good one, especially for the bathroom. Then I got leaves. I got this one to have for next year, I believe. So this one's, this packaging's okay. Not too bad, but we all know I love me some leaves. <laughs> yep, just leaves, goodness. Oh, I love it. So I will be burning that next fall. Then we have blueberry maple pancakes. Again, I picked that up to burn next fall. I really like this, like just very sleek packaging with a little touch of blue. I like that a lot. This lip wax looks super yellow compared to this white packaging, <laughs> but it smells delicious. It smells like an Eggo waffle. Mm, a blueberry Eggo waffle. So good. I don't think they have this in wallflowers, but or at least they don't have it on this site. They might pull out stock for like the wallflower sale. I'm not sure, but um, I, I'm sure it'll come back. So that I will pick up the matching wallflower for. We're almost done. I'm gonna pull all these closer. Okay, and then we have Sweet as a Snickerdoodle, which is pumpkin snickerdoodle. I thought this packaging could go all year round which is fine by me. It's also this beautiful like burnt orange color. Wick is nice and centered. And this smells divine. Like this smells really good. I have not smelled the three wick. I haven't been in store in such a long time that I haven't smelled anything really fall related. But if this smells as good, like if the three wick smells as good and as strong as this, that I would definitely pick that up. This is gorgeous. Ugh, pumpkin snickerdoodle. Yes, ma'am. It's not too sweet. It's not spiced. It smells like a fall snickerdoodle. I'm into that. I would burn that all year round. Maybe not in the summer, but yeah, I'd burn that. Not just in fall. Ooh, this one I was very excited for. So this is Love, which is cotton candy champagne. This is a new scent for this year. The packaging's cute. It does have like a holly berry, but I'm definitely gonna save this, I think for February for Valentine's Day. Plus it is a very, um, it's a, I really like it. I hope that they come out with this in a three wick. I know they have it in body care, but I'm like, I have so much body care. I just need to just not. So I want this in a three wick. This is such a, a bright berry, fruity, fun scent. I don't know. I love it. I think this is going to be great in February to help like dissipate those winter blues that are setting in full swing. Uh, this is a great, it says cotton candy champagne, but, and people have been comparing this to either champagne toast. I don't get that. I don't like champagne toast. It has like a zip to my nose that I do not like. This is not champagne toast to my nose. This is like a mix of like pink fairy gumdrop which I have and I love pink fairy gumdrop the berry note in that is so pretty and fun and sweet like pink fairy gumdrop in the, oh I looked up the scent notes on this it's strawberry pink sugar and raspberry there's no cotton candy and there's no champagne <laughs> I'll tell you that the scent notes are really fruity so and that it does it smells like Okay, 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 okay. The st saying strawberry reminded me. It reminds me of like if you were to mix Pink Fairy Gumdrop with, they had a candle that was called Strawberry Sorbet back in the Sweets Shop collection. I do still have one of those. When they relaunched that in like what, 2016, 2017? And it smells kind of like if you were to mix those two together. It smells like Pink Fairy Gumdrop and Strawberry Sorbet had a baby. It's super fun. It's super different. I mean, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. So I really hope that they come out with some three wicks of these. I doubt it because if they've already launched the line, then they're not going to kind of create anything else in it. 
But you we all know they love to repackage scents, slap a new name on it, and call it a day. So yeah, if this came out, I would definitely try that in a three wick. Although I do have Pink Fairy Gum Drop, and I have Strawberry Sorbet, so do I need it? No, but do I want it? Yeah, I do. Sugared Lemon Zest, a classic. This is such a good scent. Oh my gosh. So yummy. Truly sugared lemon. It is beautiful. It is strong. It's yummy. It's not like a bakery lemon. It's not a cleaner lemon. It's just a perfect mix of citrus, like the rind of the lemon and sugar. And it is beautiful. I love that one. We have Marshmallow Fireside. Liked this packaging a lot. This one has a gold lid. They all have had black lids, but she is different with a gold lid. Pretty, pretty packaging though. This one is loose, but that's okay because it won't, it won't fall out because these have lips. So not a big deal. Like the, the jar has lips. So no big deal. Smells like marshmallow fireside. Smells like toasty, gooey marshmallows in some woods. Oh man, I haven't burned marshmallow fireside in a minute and I need to get on that because that smells, that smells really nice for the winter. And we have flannel. This one was nice with the blue. I just like blue. Let's be honest. Blue is my color. And flannel is a men's cologne straight up. But I love it. I love flannel so much. It's so much softer. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's softer than mahogany teakwood where mahogany teakwood kind of reminds me of like if a teenage boy sprayed cologne. And flannel reminds me of like a man sprayed cologne. You know the difference when teenage boys saturate themselves? Whereas like a man, he knows a little bit goes a long way. Yeah. It's like more sophisticated. This scent is more sophisticated to my nose. It's prettier. It's manly, but it's not like ooh, choke you out. Oh man, I love flannel. I have had flannel in every form, except I don't think they've ever done a body care. But um, I've had flannel in every form and I love it. I love it in the hand soap. I love it in the candle. I love it in the wallflower. I just love it. I love it so much. Okay, Frosted Coconut Snowball. Again, with this gorgeous winter packaging, which I can use pretty much all the way up until like May here. <laughs> because in Jersey, it is freaking cold from November pretty much to like May. It's cold, but I loved this navy blue, almost black wax. It's gorgeous. And this one smells super, super strong this year. Well, okay, not, mm, let's, be, let's be honest. Not super, super strong, but stronger for sure. And then real quick, because somebody is here, we have sugared pomegranate. Loved this. This is really sweet. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous fruity scent. And I will definitely be burning this and I love that okay that is it you guys I have to go into the door before they knock thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you in my next one